very interesting match, but I think it's going to prove exactly why the king of old school is the man. Oh my god. Let me see that again. Raven is your hero. Hero.
And hold on, you want to get extreme? You want to talk about representing the extreme? Mocking Raven with that pose. Raven saying, bring it to the floor. Does, does Steve Carino have the guts to bring this match to the floor? Steve Carino doesn't have to bring this match to the floor. He's better than that. He's above that. Name, kid? Want me to kick his butt for you? Yes. Yeah. Say Carino sucks. Carino sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's unanimous. That kid's a bad seed. Keep your eye on him. I think that's Billy Kimmel. Hey, give me my money, Billy. Wait a minute. They're going to put the kid in the ring? Well, this is pathetic. Raven hiding behind a little kid. The kid just punched Carino. The kid just punched Carino. He used a closed fist. Come on, ref. That kid should have thrown a forearm or nothing. Disqualify that kid. He threw a better punch than you. <laughs> it's amazing what they do with these kids in gym class these days. And behind the back of Mike Keener, typical Raven. Drop toe hold, face first onto the chair goes Carino. Old school Raven shining through. One, two. Only a two count, Carino barely escaping defeat. And again, using the chair. And what are you doing, Mike Keener? Is this an extreme match now? Is this hardcore? It's whatever Raven wants it to be, it seems. Back first into the chair. Oh, this is just great. I hope you're proud. I hope all these people are proud of their former ECW heavyweight champion. Another even flow DDT. And this is a crying shame. Another kid in the ring. He's kidnapping a kid. Somebody call the cops. The cover. Oh, he just kicked out of the kid's pinfall attempt. I have never ever seen anything like that. The kid just tried to pin Carino. And Mike Keener counted. And Carino kicked out. Because he's a real champion. And that kid did pull the tights. That kid may have a future in this sport. Carino now taking Raven to the outside. I don't like the way things are going right now. Coming dangerously close to our table. He's fighting fire with fire, Chris. Steve Carino is going to beat Raven at his own game. Face, first of, face full of steel for the man they call Raven. Bouncing his head off that metal guardrail. Now wiping a sign in his face. Uh-oh. Steve, um... The claw! Shades of Kevin Von Erich, the claw. The last time I saw that move used it was before any of Raven's stints in rehab. Cover. And another near fall. Carino loading up. There you go. That's number two for this match. You know that's a lock, a knockout blow. None of the kids want to help Carino. Maybe Carino should have called up Colby. Uh, Carino doesn't need any help from these children. He was just trying to be a good sport. A nice guy. A hero to all. I'm sure teaching kids to choke out their adversaries and gouge them in the eyes is exactly the type of message we're looking to send. Putting the boots to Raven once again. You got by a six -year -old. 
and I'm so glad I'm here, Chris, because the promotion for this match, two former ECW champions, two former NWA World Heavyweight Champions as well. It makes them appear so parallel, so similar, but I'm here to tell you just how different these two men really are. Different that lifestyles, no doubt. Different move sets, different Color it any way you want, Chris. The Different man hair color. That may be true, but you're missing the important thing. The man standing in the ring with a chair right now, he's a winner. The man on the outside with the green hair, he's a loser. He's been beaten not only by Steve Carino, but by life. Raven has fought a lot of demons in his life. And now he's showing Steve Carino that there are better ways to spend your Saturday night than on the receiving end of a nut post. Steel chair misses. And this could be the opportunity for the king of old school. Come on, Chris. Steve Carino needs to use a chair needs to use a chair. I mean, all joking aside, Jerry, we've been having a lot of fun here tonight, but we've seen some pretty low down things and Steve Carino's actions are amongst the lowest down things we've seen. And there you go, that's some old school for you, Chris. That's not low, that's great scientific wrestling because Steve Carino doesn't need to sink to that hardcore level. He can out-wrestle a guy like Raven, no problem. If his arm drops once more, it could be over here. Will it? No! Raven has some fight left in him after all. How is that possible? Oh no, he's back on his feet. Elbows to the midsection. Carino back and Raven into the corner now. Shot after shot after shot. What's he gonna set him up for here? Now these people need to be quiet and give some respect to the dominant Steve Carino right now. Raven down in the corner. Carino propping the chair up. He has evil things on his mind. Sleeper hold. And there you go. A plain, simple, effective, basic wrestling maneuver and this is where Steve Carino shines. This is why he has risen not only to the top of ECW, not only, oh wait a second. Jawbreaker might have swung the pendulum in the favor of Raven. Carino just bounced off his, the top of Raven's head, fall back on the chair. A lot of things could happen right there. Carino had to break that sleeper hold because his jaw might have just gotten rearranged. Uh, and here we go, come on Steve, hard shoulder tackle. That shoulder tackle might have done more to harm Steve Carino than it did to help him. I think their heads butted. And Carino's head also butted off that steel chair. Yeah, the same steel chair that Raven has enjoyed using so much throughout this match. Raven back to his feet. He's running on fumes right now. Blocks that bulldog attempt, another shoulder tackle takes him down, uh-oh, oh! Oh, you think that wasn't intentional? You think that was an accident? Raven has so much taken out of him throughout this match that I'm tempted to believe that it wasn't intentional. You gotta be kidding me. It's just another low down dirty trick. The kind that's given Raven a career at all. Unfortunately, Steve Carino is suffering the effects of these dirty tactics, these dirty tricks. And he's got to suck it up here. 
both men now exchanging blows. Staggering back and forth. This match has taken a lot out of them, as I was saying earlier. Elbow. Carino returns with a kick to the midsection, taunting Raven once again with an even flow. Raven blocks. Carino knew how to get out of his own move and turn around Steve. Oh! Super kick for good measure. Both men down once again. And this is where you reach down, you dig down deep, and I know that Steve Carino has got it. Come on, Steve. Both men stirring. Gonna whip him off the ropes now. Double clothesline and both men down once again. Same idea. Same move, same result. And again, it's an even playing field. Who's got it more? Who's the true champion here, Chris? I'm not here to tell you. It's the guy who's won major titles in front of thousands and thousands in Japan, here in the U.S., worldwide pay-per-view. Steve Carino's going to take it. Not just yet. Raven still able to kick out. This is unbelievable. Both men have had tremendous careers to this point. This is sort of the culmination of years and years of hard work, a lot of effort, and tons and tons of matches. It all comes down to this here in Belleville, New Jersey. Who is the better man? Is it Raven or is it Steve Carino? And a student of the old school. We've talked about it time and time again. Carino honoring the tradition, the greatness of the past. And we can feel what he's looking for here. Oh! Never had a chance to go for the camel clutch. Come on, Keener. Those were two knees to the midsection. Carino drove himself into the knees of Raven. Raven didn't do anything but turn around. And Raven now has to use this time to gather his bearings, get up, and form some sort of a comeback. There you see it. Axe handle to the midsection, and another. Those famous jabs we've seen so often. Discus clothesline. Oh, he's fired up. This is no good. This is no good! Elbow sends Carino down. Knee lift. Jerry Strauss, Raven is on fire. Steve Carino is reeling. He's got to think of something. He's a great champion, for God's sake. And looks at a rig to the back. Even flow DDT. He hits it. The cover, make the count. No, 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 no. This one's in the books. Raven wins. Even flow DDT puts Steve Carino out of his misery and sends Raven home from Belleville, New Jersey, a winner in every sense of the word. And maybe it's just that appropriate that here in Belleville, among the Bellevillians, that a guy like Raven would prevail, that he would be a winner, that he would stand tall amongst the people that relate to this guy. I can't believe it. I'm just glad this thing's over. Chris, let's get out of here. Wrestling fans for Jerry Strauss, I'm Chris Cannon. Thank you for joining us. Good night from Belleville, New Jersey.